ProWatt 30 kW to 70 kW Series R3 MPPT 3-phase grid tight solar inverters with a new design of touch key and OLED display. In this video, we will have a brief introduction of inverter installation, commissioning and basic troubleshooting. Tools we need to prepare electric driller, hammer, pliers, cross screw driver, flat screw driver, multimeter, etc. Unpacking and checking. Unpack the packing, take out the accessories and the inverter. According to the accessories listed on the manual, check if there is any missing. Follow the installation manual to drill holes and hand the inverter to the wall. Do not forget to screw the safety screws firmly. It is required to install the inverter under a shelter avoiding direct sunlight and rain. Please choose the eligible cables for wiring. On the user manual, there is a table of cable requirement. It has the specification of cables required. Check the PV array polarity with a multimeter. Then connect the PV array terminal to inverter PV input terminal. Please note, the startup voltage for 30 to 70 kW series inverters is 250 volts. Inverter will not generate PV power if the strain voltage vampire is lower than 250 volts. For PV connector assembly, please refer to SP2000 installation video. Put the wire terminal to the lid, use crimping pliers to tighten it. Put the cable into the AC protection cover and then screw the five standard wires into the relevant terminals. Put the protection cover to main structure and tighten screws. It is suggested to earth the inverter frame via the earthing pool located in bottom of the inverter. There is a USB port and one RS485 terminal on the bottom of the inverter. We suggest the solar system be monitored by Growa Shine Wi-Fi X module or Shine Master. Remove the USB cover from inverter, then put the Shine Wi-Fi X module to the USB port. The monitoring system allows customers to check data on mobile, panel computer, laptop, or rather have internet access. Moreover, it is also able to adjust inverter parameters and even upgrade inverter firmware remotely. Use a multimeter to check the PV input voltage and AC voltage on inverter terminal. Make sure they are correct, then switch on the inverter DC switch to start up. 1. Waiting status Inverter has powered up with a solid green leaf indicator, but won't start generating while PV voltage is lower than 250 volts. 2. Normal status Inverter is operating normally with a solid green leaf indicator. 3. Warning status A warning occurs, inverter has a blinking red leaf indicator, but won't stop generating. 4. Fault status A fault occurs and inverter stops working, leaf indicator stays solid red. There is a touch button on inverter display panel, allowing users to proceed human-machine interaction and is easy to operate. Single touch, shift and plus, double touch, confirm and set, triple touch, back and exit. When inverter goes into normal status after startup, the main interface on LCD screen will be showing inverter basic operating information. Current power, daily yield, total yield, PV1 information, PV2 information, etc. in cycle. Regarding to parameter settings, there are general and advanced settings, and the general settings are the most useful as users can do language setting, inverter communication address setting, date setting and time setting, etc. For other operations, please refer to the manual.
warning is a general running alarm. It will not affect the inverter's power production. The warning message on the LCD display is only to remind you. The most common warning message is fan fault. As a tear and wear part, fan cleaning and replacing may be required after long time operation. For outdoor installations, we suggest cleaning for fans semi-yearly. Switch off inverter DC switch, AC switch. According to different model, unscrew the inverter protective part firstly. Unscrew the fan cover screws. Disconnect the fan cables. Take off fans. Use wet towel to clean it. Replace faulty or damaged fans. Inverter will show an error message or error code on OLED display if there is a fault occurs. Please refer to the user manual for complete error list and description. There is also a detailed troubleshooting guide available on GrowWasp website. In order to manage the grid stability, the grid company regulated a permitted grid connect voltage range. If the local grid voltage is beyond that range, the inverter must stop working. Usually, there is not inverter problem. Please contact your installer to check AC voltage on inverter terminal or contact Rowas service representative for further inquiry.